this is Marina from How I Got Here, or with How I Got Here, whatever it is. And this is Marquise, Marquise Almond. So we also work together at our sales job. And I guess with um, my last video with Very and the Best, we're all from the same gang. We all just work very hard to grow. And Marquise is actually, maybe, I mean, maybe not at this hour, but he's actually a super funny guy. He's extremely <laughs> hardworking. He came to the company and he was, actually nobody thought you would make it. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I don't know if it's. <laughs> sorry, I, I didn't think so either. <laughs> but, yeah, um, <laughs> no, I'm just fucking around. <laughs> no, um, you just came in and you were like super lost and you were, I think you just literally got mm -hmm. off from like the streets hanging out with your friends. You came in for an interview and you got the job, right? That's how it happened. I mean, yeah. It, Not well, exactly, obviously. but... <laughs> yeah, I mean, in, in, in a sense, because I had no kind of experience like that prior. So it's like, yeah, I didn't really expect to get the job, but I guess something worked, even though I had like this giant afro. <laughs> you really, I wasn't going to say that, but yes, you literally had a, like, <laughs> you had yeah. a crown. Yeah. But I think within, I, um, I don't know if it was within six months, you grew a lot you had your i think you had your own team already mm -hmm. i know you got in trouble by the owner the first day because you didn't come back home until like one in the morning because yeah. somebody <laughs> i'm not gonna say the gonna name, name names, right? <laughs> <laughs> took you out for your first you know um door-to-door -door tour of how the company works and you never came home so yeah. Yeah, you definitely got in trouble for that. That was but that was an experience. Like, <laughs> that was an experience. Yeah, I don't know experience. why you, you actually did that. <laughs> yeah, uh, to this day, neither one of us really know what drove us so much that day, but something did. We had fun though. Of course, we you had, had a lot fun, of fun, but yeah. I think one of you had like a stomachache because you you had the wrong chicken. <laughs> yeah, uh, he had a stomachache. He never had Caribbean jerk, and I'm like, we got you got to try it, and it, <laughs> it wasn't kosher. You know that? Not even close. <laughs> Not even close, and it destroyed him. And then he had Wendy's, so that didn't help at all. <laughs> all I'm gonna say is that he's a pretty religious Jewish kid, but or uh, looks like one. But yeah, that's what happened when you're not <laughs> eating what you're supposed to. <laughs> but his body rejected it. Big time. <laughs> he was trying to be cool, you know. <laughs> yeah. Look, Marquise. I just mm -hmm. want to say that I'm proud of you, even if my opinion may be like, oh, okay, whatever. But honestly speaking, for a black young kid who just literally, I think you just finished high school, right? When you yeah, came, like 18, I, uh, 19 years old. I was 19 when I did my interview and I turned 20 my third week in the business. So, and yeah. you didn't give up. And when we heard his story, which I'm sure he'll start saying it's shortly, mm -hmm. he was complaining that, you know, he lives, he, he doesn't live anywhere in the bar. It's like, it's yeah. far rock away. It was so far. Yeah. <laughs> he had to get up at 4.30 in the morning in order to actually get to the office by 7.30-ish yep. to start training and, you know, I guess learning the nature of the business because the point of the business is that you don't just do sales. You grow your own business. You grow your team and now you are an entrepreneur. You, mm -hmm. you own a company right now, right? Yep. through the sales company so one of the reasons why i had to leave is because i have little children so i guess marquise is the perfect example of people who once you start you won't have to you you know as long as you don't give up you'll actually accomplish a lot so yeah ready <laughs> yeah definitely so i mean funny enough to, to kind of like piggyback off the first thing you just talked about in terms yeah. of the commute it was actually two hours and 15 minutes. I'll never forget that number because every day I question myself, damn, Why? is this, you know, is this is it worth, worth it? taking, you know, three buses and walking 15 minutes to, you know, for this opportunity. But um, obviously there was something that was just pulling me, you know, every day into the office to, to do these things because, you know, I came, I kept coming back. <laughs> you know, I think time. it's the people because no matter how hard it was for even me, because my kids were super little, mm -hmm. I was just like, nope, I'm going because it just kept me going. It motivated me. Yeah, you know, it's, it's always this, the same model that I'm sure everyone has heard before. Like, some make excuses, some make it happen. Mm -hmm. so it's kind of like that's that was just like the mentality. Like, most people, they see an hour commute and see it as like 
oh no, like that's not gonna work out. And you know, I did it with you know two and a half times a time, and right. I didn't really make any excuses every for it. Every day, rain or shine, every it didn't every matter. single day, right? Snow, rain, hell, sleet, whatever. And what I actually did during that time was I actually like developed during that time, at that time, instead of like maybe sleeping one of us, whatever. I would like go over material, learn oh, team building stuff, all of that. So when it came to actually being in the office, I kind of had a like an upper, like an mm -hmm. advantage almost to some most people that were in my position at the time, and it was, you know, due to my, my I guess my will, it really was. No, it was. It's you have a very strong will. Yeah. For. I mean, when I got out of high school, I was, first of all, I didn't know anything about sales. And look, I'm 36. I, we had no cell phones. Okay, I'm not that old, but look, we had nothing. So for me to go from a college degree to a sales girl, that was like, what, what am I doing? But mm -hmm. the people and experience, it's crazy. But when you came, you're already in the social media world. So for you to do sales, you know, it was probably, hey, yeah. why not let me try it? Yeah. Right? And Definitely. it ended up. Definitely. I, I mean, for for anything, you know, anything new is going to be a challenge. Right? Yes. You know that. Yes. So I kind of approached it in that manner. Prior to that, I was doing basketball coaching, which is like something I still wish I could do right now, like on my part time. Mm -hmm. um, I want to eventually have enough time in my day to be able to do that and run an effective business well, at the same day time. You probably will. Absolutely. Um, but again, like I said, anything new is going to be a challenge. That's kind of how I uh, approached the whole sales aspect. You know, one thing I know from experience is people are terrified of sales. Like, literally I don't terrified. Know why though? Because it's the you know it, it's the image portrayed by everyone that isn't involved. I think we got lucky with mentors. Mm -hmm. Our mentors that, were really good. That weren't successful at it. Yes. That's that's how everything is. Like if yes. if, if you had a bad example, uh, a bad uh, experience with a Toyota, you wouldn't recommend a Toyota to anybody. That's you know? true. But that's just your experience. Yeah, that's right? true. Um. There's a million people that had good experience with Toyota. So I kind of, you know, took the, took everything with a grain of salt. I'm like, hey, like, just because you weren't good at it doesn't mean I may not be good at it, right? So yeah, that's true. I you tried overcame it out. a lot. I know you overcame a lot with mm -hmm. so many people that you've trained and so many people that, I mean, now you run an office and, you know, you have your ups and downs. And every time I would speak to you in the office, you always had like a little notebook with notes and you <laughs> always looked at life so simple and so humble and so just Absolutely. listen. We Absolutely. can like what did um, our manager used to teach us? It's not the situation, but it's how you react to it. Right. Right. So ninety nine percent of it is how you react to it. Exactly. Absolutely. I agree. I live by that. I mean, that that's something I like live by before I even you know came across any company because right. it, whatever happened already happened. It's like, what can you do about it? Exactly. You know, it's it's what you get out of it, what you learn from it. You know. Um, so that's actually that's kind of just been my mentality, but I guess. Hearing things again, kind of for the first time, it's like, oh, right, like, that makes sense. So it just f fueled me even more. Like, hey, look, yeah, I get true. it. You know, I'm two hours away. I don't have experience. I've never done this. People are looking at me like, you know, like, he's not going to make it, et cetera. Or it's not for you. Why don't you just go get a real job? Like, yeah, I've, I've heard that one a I've lot. heard it every day. I've heard that one a lot. Okay. Like, get a real job. Blah, 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 blah. It's a job. Okay. But, yeah. Come I mean, on. it's... You know, You're just not in the office all day, but it's a job. And I guess if my situation was different, I'd probably still be there and probably would would have been an owner. Yeah. You know. But I, I think, you know, for, for example, like what business do you know profits without sales? Exactly none. There's Any, always something. There's, there's always no at least one world. person, including the CEO, who will go out there and hustle, and that's how you grow mm -hmm. your business. Yeah, you selling yourself, your product, your image, whatever it is, it's gonna come down to you selling something, right? So, yeah, that's kind of how I view um, most things, anyways. Like, I actually learned that a long, long time ago. Like, why work with someone like me, or, or why do I trust this person, mm -hmm. right? Um, it comes down to how how their image is, right? Yeah. So that's still a portion of selling themselves, and yeah. if they plan on being successful, whatever the case is, their image have to be, you know nearly flawless so I'm almost to the point where it's like I trust this person with my career um which in return I was able to give that back to people too they, because they because of the people that trained you right exactly right? 
right. with, without the right, like I got really lucky because I literally left the company like I think three times because of my personal issues and still came back. Mm -hmm. yeah, and then I was were... like, you know what? I'm not ready. I still have to come back because yeah. to me it was such a, I was very depressed on my personal level, but every time I walked in the, in the office, everything was gone. I was like, the people are just, everything was flawless. Mm -hmm. Everybody was just so on point. Nobody judged, everybody supported and everybody just cracked up a joke or whatever it was. It was just all yeah. work, business. And then I realized from that moment that this is exactly how people grow. Mm -hmm. All that toxicity in your life and all those judgment and all those unnecessary comments will get a real job where this is not for you. It's not something a woman should do or, or a mother. Right. Listen, yeah. when you don't know what this company has done, like look at where we are today, it has taught us a lot. Like our manager used to always say, be comfortable to be uncomfortable. Not one manager will ever say that in any company because all they care is that when you got, get an office, you cluck in, cluck out, then your work should be done, I guess, more or less. Nobody yeah, really I've, cares I've, about your personal absolutely. growth. You, you know, a, a big portion of that is like, if, if you want to be an entrepreneur, you have to act like one at all times, right? Or exactly. You, realistically, you know, right. and, and you have to be treated as such mm -hmm. at, at all times. So being an employee, if you're doing things as an employee, hey, that's not my job, which I'm sure right. I, used to, I used to hate hearing that no matter where I was, it's like, till this day, like, right. I didn't know, or it wasn't my job. Right, I don't like, get paid for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not, yeah, like, come on. Yeah. You, you're never gonna get paid for that because you're not willing to do it. But that is definitely something that I really, really like, like, instantly, and like, they, they're treating me like I'm somebody. That's you know? true, and, they believed in you. Yeah. Right, and, and you know, it, yeah. even if it weren't, the entire office it only really take one person to, to really ignite that's your true. potential so that, that that's true. kind of way that's that's really where i uh i feel like i flourished and teaching others because i always seen the good in others like if they if i feel like they don't know what they're capable of like i always feel that way because i felt like at least one person felt that way about me so that's always what um yeah but you I always look so sharp foot. like it was like two different people <laughs> You came yeah, in with the afro, yeah. but like maybe I think two days yeah. later you had like your hair <laughs> cut, you had like a very nice, you yeah, know, yeah. cut, whatever, and then like it came with a nice suit. I'm like, okay. Yeah, when I first started, came on. <laughs> I um, I had one tie, actually this is pretty funny, I had one pair of slacks, one tie, one shirt, no blazer, wow. right? Oh. And one pair of shoes. All black, as like now, right. as you can tell, it's probably like my favorite, right? It's simple, right. but um, I that's all I had, and me going through the training and everything like i for one it was a little uncomfortable i'm like damn these guys are like wearing three-piece suits and right. like their ties are different every day yeah. their shoes are different every yeah, day like i'm like I, i'm not good enough for this like it doesn't it doesn't even feel like i should be here in, in a yeah. sense right um and then i had like the big afro as we know like the freaking <laughs> ginormous yeah afro um so i'm like first thing i gotta do is like try to change my image so my first paycheck Right, we got a two hundred dollar bonus. I literally spent every dollar on buying new shirts, new ties, shoes, wow. and like two, three slacks. I literally spent like I think it was like one ninety five or something like that. I got like a deal, you know. So I was that just to... proved your first step. That didn't scare you. You just literally was like, you mm -hmm. see how you were like, oh my god, I feel like I don't belong here. But still, let me adjust. The first paycheck you spent mm -hmm. wasn't like on your, I don't know, maybe new Nike shoes. You spent yeah. it on t shirts and suits. Right, I, it was a necessity, you know. Like, hey, I, I feel like if I feel like I don't fit in here, I want to be here. So, what's the next logical thing to do, right? Yeah. So that's um, yeah, that was like a small, easy decision for me. Chopping my hair off, though, that I grew for two years, <laughs> that was a little hard. I'm not, I'm not even gonna be like, hey, f the hair, but um, I'm like, you know what? If if it's worth it, like it's clearly worth it to me because. I'm doing all of these things like I'm traveling this far you know sure. I'm I'm buying all of these things and it has to be worth it so yeah. I ended up you know getting a haircut um it was two weeks because that's how I were at the time you mm -hmm. get the training bonus up two weeks I had come out here that Monday everyone was like who's this guy like yeah. not even being you know sarcastic like they literally didn't know who I were like it, right, it was right, like right. holy shit this guy was the guy in all black with the afro, you know? Exactly. Like it's a different no, I person. think everybody, I think that the manager from my side then was like, ah, I should have had him, you know, <laughs> because you started making sales, you started raising your, t growing your team. You, yeah. you literally proved to everybody 
it doesn't matter how long you like the younger version of the owner just a different version yeah. you know Come. because he yeah. also traveled i believe two to two and a half hours every day back and forth yep just to start this business and if it wasn't for him and then it went open doors for Jeff, people, right? you know, like he, yeah he exactly. really did he they both did yeah. they did an incredible job they opened up you know roads and um, doors for people like us it doesn't matter if you're black or white women are you know male mm -hmm. you really i guess what they said is true come out of your comfort zone and life will either make you or break you and we made the best of it right that, yeah that's 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 true i think everything that was laid out in front of me is like black and white mm -hmm. it's like you do xyz you get xyz now yeah. You remember, I'm still a young kid at the time, 19 years old. Yeah, which is and crazy. I would have like, never done it. You know, all the things that you were told or maybe I've seen in, in other careers or whatever. Well, not to a career. Like, I had, like, a career path prior, right? But right. jobs yeah. and you know, whatever. You, you know, you get the sense that you're not, gonna, you're not going to get the same treatment as other people's. Either being young and, or black, right? Yes. I was both. Yes. You, no, I was, I, it was worse. I was young, black, and, and inexperienced. And inexperienced. Exactly. Right? So... Exactly. Um, and my image wasn't weren't the best, right? And you know, but then you learn. And yeah, <laughs> and I started kind of like crossing those things off one at a time. You can't cross off the, the obviously the <laughs> the black, but right. the rest obviously you know you can. So, but, your but this business allowed me. Right? It, it's just straight up allowed me to become who I feel like I was supposed to become. Right. Like that. That is definitely something I'm like internally always grateful for. You know. But you um, made the first step regardless. That first paycheck, you made that choice. Yeah. So yeah, that's pretty easy choice. what would be your, um, I guess, advice to younger black men, even women maybe, mm -hmm. who still have that mental fear, which is not for nothing. Right. We all know how blacks are treated in America. Yeah. It's, unfortunately. It's, it stems, it's, yeah, it, it, it stems from... You know, unfortunately, you're going to be judged like no matter what. Regardless, right? For example, exactly. if, if my name was... You know, something other than Marquise, I'm not going to give an example, but like something right. like outrageous, you know, they, they may even just pass over my resume, you yeah, know what I'm saying? True. So, Probably. you know, it, there's definitely challenges out there that, you know, stereotypical, whatever the case is. My advice is, number one, if it's meant to be, it's going to happen. Like something will like, it, it's going to happen. You, you're going to suddenly have a work ethic that you didn't know was buried inside of you because you care so much about getting something. Yeah, right and, and all those things going to happen but the the advice i can give is one you got to believe in yourself that's really it because if i had believed in myself you know i could have kicked things off maybe a little faster than i, than I uh did because i wanted to right um but again like i said i had to have someone believe in me before i could believe in myself oh yeah so i didn't believe in myself either i was broken i was like oh my god who cares if i'm I mean, I did yeah. have my privileges, you know, walking in and making a sale. Of course, I'm not going to say, right. oh, mm -hmm. but I was definitely not confident. I was very yeah. nervous. And my and first thing was like, mm -hmm. can I do it? Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And, and most people in any kind of field, they get, I'm not going to say like, well, yeah, scared. <laughs> you know, they're, they're scared. Like, hey, what if I don't make it? Like, you're thinking too much. You're not if focused on winning. Throw something at you. You're not focused on winning. You're focused on not losing. You know, right. but so it's right. just, it's a whole different mentality change. If you're going and you're confident, like, Hey, I know I could do this. Like, I'm going to do it. And then there's a system that we were taught. It's not like they said, well, good luck. Right. There's the door. They taught us there's, it, it was a well-paid system that I think a couple of people actually were mm -hmm. hired to come up with mm -hmm. what to say, any kind of rejection. And what you don't realize is that while everybody would tell us, go get a real job, we were over here using the same tactics and knowledge that we literally learned there we use everywhere else legit like we have a job i i still have a job well he still has a job but like right. when you get out every get up every morning to go work that's a job you know yeah. taking care of your health is a job absolutely <laughs> or you whatever know, and it's you know and, and for one i don't think it's ever been an easier time to be rich and during this generation like right now oh I like this there isn't any easier time that anyone can come up with right Things that have already been invented, cool, we get it. Unless you were born in this, you know, yeah. spoon fed, golden spoon environment, like, like this is this is this is definitely the time to, you know, reach evolve. your potential. Absolutely. So <laughs> right. um, you know, the, the point of me saying that is when 
when you're coming into something new, obviously all those challenges come into it. Like most people, they see jobs as nine to fives, right? You can right. call the spade a spade. It is what it is. They're yes. one foot in. They're not all into a new job. Like you're not going to flip them burgers like with passion. It is what it is. Yeah. When but you need the money, you'll take anything. The one However, thing I can <laughs> always encourage somebody to do is do not work eight hours for someone else and their dreams and help them work on their goals and not do the same for yourself, if not harder. Right. That, exactly. So that is definitely exactly. one thing that really separated that, you know, this career that I'm on now versus any other one that I have, you know, dabbled in prior or was interested in because it allowed you to grow professionally and personally work on your own goals and it, they want you to, you know, if, if you win, they win. So it's, and also it's not an overnight thing. People thought we're like, well, how long, oh. how long, how long? It's yeah. Well, listen, it's like, I'm sorry if you're 300 pounds, it's not an overnight thing for you to lose weight. So don't just be like, Oh, I'm on a diet tomorrow. I'm like, you know, size zero. No, yeah, not, same nothing. thing with the personal growth. Nothing. If it comes easy, run because there's always a, you know <laughs> something is wrong like run right because we were a certain way like me as a jewish girl i grew up with a certain mentality him as a black man grew up with a certain mentality but to rewire your brain takes time so i think yeah. you're like the part that's why i wanted you here because you're like the perfect example because I'm you overcame to be here. every obstacle that any young I guess inexperienced black mm -hmm. man, literally a man, to do whatever they, you did. You, you. If the owner of the company was in, like, really wanted you to be on his team, that's a lot. Yeah. You know. I, I think, um, you know, you, you kind of you hit on the head. There. Like, things, anything worth having, is never gonna come easy. Yeah. You know that that's just. I think everyone kind of knows that in a way. Like yes. everyone's like, yeah, I want a million dollars, I want a million dollars, I want a million dollars. They don't really have a timeline mostly on things like that. Exactly. No so game, no... Subconsciously, you understand it's not going to happen overnight, you know? So, yeah. yeah, that's... I think you hit on the head right there. That's what Varian said last time when he was here, because he always rhymes. He goes, if you if you don't have a goal, you're going to fall in a hole. <laughs> 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 you know, you have to have a, like, a goal. Like for me with two kids, what do you think I was doing all the time? Mm -hmm. Running between sales and the kids and my personal life and then my mental you know tra trauma or whatever it was trying to become somebody i was i was lost like yeah to be where i am today or where you're today it took years so many different directions yeah we know each other for what five years 2016 2017 yeah. i think that's come on all right we would never had this relationship if, if, no. it, if it weren't for obviously no like, all the things that happened right yeah, because um, we look at each other, we actually uh, we like family. He's like yeah. my brother, so I'm also older. So you should look at. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Listen, no, I'm joking. But anytime, like if I, anybody had a question in the office, we we'll go to Marquise or you know anyone who's actually like. I don't think I've ever even presented to the whole office. We always listen to you and like you know a couple of other oh, yeah, people yeah. in the office. I was. Just I like, wanted to get out. You know what it is? It's like, in and. This is what people already know. Like, being black is like, shit is just harder. Yeah, 100%. Like, like yes. Fuck it if you don't think so. <laughs> Excuse my language. But, like, it is. It just is. It's, it's harder. If you don't think so, you means you're uneducated. You're, yeah, you're just, you're bullshitting. Like, you know it's definitely You're very harder. comfortable where you yeah, live. You just like, don't look outside. It's. <laughs> but they're real people. They have feelings. Well, they work it, really hard. Yeah, right? there's, I think people are definitely more, you know open-minded nowadays so it's nice yes, yeah I hope but so. I mean, things shit is just harder like you you don't get the same start as everyone else like, yes. and no matter really what you're gonna do unless something you know prior generation sets you up in that in that way right, right so right. like me wanting to get up and speak to the office and all that stuff wanting to like do all these things mm -hmm. be extra it's because i feel like doing those things is gonna you know Push you. put me in that finally put me at an even level if not yeah. higher you know like i know i gotta work harder like it you know it's that's just that's what it is but but um, still because yeah. of that mentality you're actually at a much better position than those that let's say me i'm thinking hey i don't really have to work that hard and to be honest with you i didn't think that i had to yeah yes yeah, that, because i'm a woman well after doing that, sales i was like wow i didn't realize what privilege or I guess privilege I have, Russian, Jewish, mom, white female, 
I could have come into any mm -hmm. any location and I would have gotten a sale just because. Yeah. Right? You had to know the whole... I, I swear to God, I didn't even remember most of the things we were learning. I said, you want it, right? <laughs> you want the sale. You don't have Verizon? Oh, don't worry. Now you will have it. I got you. That's got how you. easy it was. <laughs> yeah. But for you, you had to actually learn all the threads right. of the... That shit would never was, fly by with me. Like, yeah, like, who you talking just, to? It just wouldn't work that way, you know? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. No. Um, yeah, like, it's you know, it's, some things, you know, it's just more challenging, but... Everyone has their own challenges at the end right. of the day, just like everyone fights their own battles. Like yes. coming into the office where we, there's so much conglomerate because we were all so different. Like I think that's definitely a part that kind of drew us together. Like and we I, never I wanna, judged each other. That absolutely. Was amazing. If anything, we were more interested. Right? That's I want to know more about your family, your, like your culture, all of these things, and let's grow together. Like why? Exactly. Why else will we be sitting here now? Right. I so, know, and we really had like I think every culture and every religion. I think yeah. you have a Jewish guy on your team, no? Yeah, the, the Jewish guy took me out to one in the morning, my first uh, day. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, right. That's the, the other one. I'm talking about the other guy. There's yeah, a couple I, of Jewish guys from my country yeah, that yeah, are yeah. On, in our company. So it's not like I was the only Jewish person there because I wasn't yeah. lost. I was glad and honored <laughs> to be there. Yeah, Once absolutely. I came into this Long Island office, I was like, this is it. I don't want to go anywhere else. Yeah, it was like, it was like that for me. Uh, I'd say... Well, I'd be lying if I didn't say I didn't think I'm like quitting or whatever the case is. Oh, th every day we wanted to quit. <laughs> that that commute was like shit, you know. Like, is it, you know? Anyways, but that's that's kind of how it was for me. Like I feel like once I officially like locked in, like okay, after I spent that first paycheck, I'm like, all right, I'm all in. Like I I gotta see this through. Yeah, and, that's true. Uh, that's that's what we did, you know. So here we and are. Today you have an office in. Yeah, fun, funny thing is, yeah, I, I, right now I'm running an office in Boston, um, but I'm actually moving my business to Miami oh. in, in two weeks. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's that's why we're here that's talking the, three in the morning, whatever time right. it is, because I, I got a flight in like three hours. Um, also, we were taught never to cancel a meeting. Not to book it. <laughs> yeah, that's when, it. Once you said something, you got to do it, you know. Yes, be... Um, what was the owner used to say all the time? There's, there's a lot of sayings. Um, like once you say it, don't go off on your decision. Yeah. Don't change your mind. Yeah, like once you say it, it's real. You know, like you yeah. can think it like, hey, I'm, I'm a nigga, whatever case is. But like once you say it out loud, like then you got to be held accountable to do it. Accountable. There we go. Be accountable for it. See, I'm a mind reader. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> or you've been in the same comp. <laughs> yeah. Been in that meeting a couple times. That's true, yeah. But yeah, um, that's so yeah, right now I'm in Boston and it's gonna be in Miami. Finally, I'm very happy because I feel like Boston was just a little bit not you, but you have you got our conversations, yeah, you have had struggles, but you overcame and you and you faced them and you actually learned a lot from it. That's why now you're gonna be on a whole different level, a like different ball game. Yeah, which to you is gonna be like a piece of cake, maybe. I, you know? Well, you you, you wanna yeah. the thing is you you gotta do what got you to be in those positions, right? So I could go to Miami and be like, hey, you know, like it's, everyone's you know happy because the weather out here and you got palm trees and like it's it's a lot different scenery than Boston where it could snow in September, you know. <laughs> but the um, the main thing like moving the business like that's a that's a very big decision. Like that's a life decision. So. I'm not really There's even trying to go situation. down there and like even coast or like, hey, this is easier. I, I can do the same amount of work I was doing prior and get better result. I want to work harder so I can get a, a result that I couldn't even imagine, you That's know, like true. a year ago, especially going through like the pandemic and everything. Yeah. But um, yeah, that's even funny because I opened, opened my business in Boston and in um, December 2019 and obviously the world like freaking shut down three months yes, later yes. so it's like i didn't even really get the full effect of like applying wow. everything that i learned and wanted to apply now it's kind of like a fresh start to be able to go to a you know in my opinion a better city and yeah, of course really like do what i feel like i'm meant to do and i'm excited like i'm, I'm excited hey you know? all the blessings man like yeah. i told um varian from you know the same i guess culture but we'll come back here again within a year and see mm -hmm. where we we are, where we grow from there. I'm excited to do that. And, yeah. And this is actually can help help me be more accountable. 
Oh, you now now officially you're yeah, accountable. Yeah, I said it. I, I gotta do it. Hopefully, my beard actually fully grows in. You know, I'm 24 now, so <laughs> by the time you know 25 or whatever case is, I should have a, a man beard. A man beard. We'll That's see what happens. You right? have your problems. I'm trying to grow yeah. my hair. <laughs> He grows the same way, man. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> so Slow funny. and steady now. Yeah. Um, I know that you also work, obviously, with uh, one of the greatest uh, managers, I guess, in sales that we know of of all yeah. time. The funniest, the most. Like, every time you walked in a room, I, I thought I was, I felt like, I felt embarrassed because I felt like I'm the only one laughing. He was so funny. <laughs> and that's Jeff Pratt. We miss you dearly. Yeah. And I wasn't even close to him. I wasn't from the same team, but I cried like a little girl when I saw and I heard the news. Like, I couldn't believe it. I was calling everybody, and it was... Uh, this was, like, the biggest shock of, I guess, 2020. The biggest. And to you, he was like, you guys were family. Yes. You guys were together every single day. Yeah. He was the greatest He's mentor, so... I, I still hear, hear his, like, the, the things he say, like, I'm still realizing a lot of them now. It's surreal, really. Um, you know. It was just unexpected. Yeah, shit happens, but, like, when shit happens, you still feel it, you know? Yeah, of course. And that's that's how I feel about that whole situation, personally. Um, but, yeah, definitely miss him, for sure. Like, I, I get um, memories in my phone. And like every other day, it's like a memory with him or something, you know, like funny. And, you know, this is actually pretty funny. So the first three months, four months or so, we had that Miami competition. I, oh, you yeah. remember that, right? Of course. So funny enough, we, I ended up winning that entire competition. Right. Yes. And, I, and I, yeah, I won that entire competition and I went to Miami with Jeff, Jeff oh my God. Uh, for like four days or something like that. And. You know, that's just, that was, like, crazy. And it's so funny because, like, it's kind of coming back around full circle because now I'm opening up an office in Miami. Right. Oh, and wow. I got that um that memory, and I'm like, holy shit. Like, that's, you like... You should frame that memory. Yeah, I'm like, that's, like, insane, you know? But... That's crazy. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff's just... I think one thing that really... I mean, yeah, obviously he's hilarious. You know, one of those guys that can just... He was very pure. Ch change your mood, but, like, he was such a genuine person. That mm -hmm. That is what... You know, most people kind of lack, and what from what I think is like, just be genuine, like be you, what your whatever your intentions are. He wasn't are, a like, racist. He was just like, <laughs> well, he was the coolest down to earth. Obviously not, right? Right. You know, no, <laughs> but yeah, like no. he's a genuine person, and that's something that just made me want to like go to bat for him. Like I definitely, whatever the hell this dude's goals is, like now is my goals, right? And, and it was mutual. Right. So that is like, and that's rare. You cannot find people like that, especially. Yeah. Had you never even decided to stay, mm -hmm. or anything would have scared you, you would have never been in the situation that you are. Because that's that we're honored. Yeah. To have met Jeff, to be I was. I'm not even kidding. You know how many times I was trying to have a meeting with him. <laughs> he was like, Marina, why do you want to talk to me? I said, Jeff, I just want to talk to you. <laughs> I just want to hear any any advice. He's like, Marina, just go. I'm like, fine. <laughs> He was very smart and like, I just wanted it because like I said, I was on my personal level, like I was going through, I was just, I did not want what I had. Mm. You know, I didn't want to be in the situation that I was. I wanted to be free. I wanted to go like, you know, be an entrepreneur. Just, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's wrong, but I didn't want to live a typical Jewish life. Not that I'm upset of doing, oh, mm -hmm. I'm, I just didn't want it. I'm right. blessed that I was married. I'm blessed that I have my children, but I I'm like, look, I'm blessed with my kids. I'll take the kids, but take the rest. It's not <laughs> for me, man. I'll keep the kids. I'll keep the kids. Fine, and fine. <laughs> I'll keep the kids. <laughs> yeah, and I they're have no adorable. Choice. Like they're like <laughs> an extension of me. So yeah, I. That's why every time when I'm battling my personal life, I'm going back into the office and I'm trying to like have a meeting with like Jeff. And I had a chance to finally speak to him. And I swear, even that one sentence, whatever it was, Marina, well, you got to do this, this, and that. And then I remembered you. I'm like, oh, but Marquise, he has everything set up. And I feel like the things that he said there with you and taught you wasn't even something that, no offense, Chris Bune, <laughs> I didn't get it. <laughs> Maybe because I was like, I wasn't a priority, but he 
invested his time and energy into every single person that mm -hmm. he saw oh i see that you want to stay here let's do this because i know yeah. you guys even went to play pool all the time yeah and it's sad to say i still suck at pool funny enough <laughs> It was more. He like, probably laughs at you and just like, "Come on, man! I told you this yeah, move a like, thousand times." You should, you should be, you should be much freaking better than you are. Yeah. Uh, I want you know. So, <laughs> this is a sidebar before I actually go into what I was gonna say. Yeah. But I was playing pool the other day and mm. like I like wiped the table with somebody. I don't remember who it was, <laughs> but I like immediately thought of Jeff. Like, yo, bro, you was fucking holding that pool stick because there's no way in hell <laughs> I freaking just he was wiped so the table. He was so freaking good. He was good at everything he did. Like, whatever matter what it did, like. Jeff could freaking freestyle for like five minutes straight and be like great. Yeah, like legit. I found that out in Miami, funny enough, after a couple waters, we'll call them. Mm. But um, yeah, he he was like great at everything he did. But when I wiped that table, I'm like, yo, like I felt like, yo, that, that had to like be Jeff. Like there's right. no, I can't even freaking. He felt bad for I can't you. do this. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm going to take, I'm going to take over this game. But what I was going to talk about was being in his presence was more so what I was interested in. Like, I want right. to em embody right. that entrepreneurial right. spirit that you have and so passionate about. Like, he's and so good at it. So very passionate. Like, that's yeah. passionate and genuine. Those, like, definitely... And I definitely... I carry that myself. So that's what gravitated me towards him a lot, you know? And I would just be interested... And I don't even drink, obviously, like, or anything like that. But, like, Jeff will... Drink like a fish, like legit. Wow. And I'll like, you know what, freaking, I'll have a drink with you. Like, I can't sit here and not do that. Mind you, I wasn't even 21. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but still, right? Um, right. We'll, we'll, we'll edit that out. But <laughs> the, um, the, the important thing was having those conversations. Like you said, as one sentence, I was blessed to have like two, three hour conversations with right. them. And, you know, consistently. And that definitely changed a lot for me. You know, so like every, everything I can credit would definitely be to that man upstairs for sure like right. he definitely made me i'd say at least half of who i am today right. you know not just in a professional way but like personal just yeah, in, in general you know like he he weren't someone i liked from work like he was someone that like i'd invite to my wedding right. you know i i would th that's the kind of person he, he became to me so um yeah i want to get too sentimental and and, and I know, I'm not trying here, to hold but... my tears, but I'm like, <laughs> no. Yeah, but yeah that's, it's um... not the same without him, obviously. Yeah, it's not However, the same. However, he left an incredible, um, I guess, memory imprint uh, with all his knowledge and love and, mm -hmm. uh, I guess, affection. Just love and spirit was, it's going to go forever. Anyone, and I'm so happy that I never broke when everybody was like, quit the job, quit the job. That's one of the reasons that I'm going to say that we are the strong people because that is something that we cannot relate to you because you'll never understand it. Mm -hmm. And meeting people like Jeff Pratt and everyone else, obviously, but especially because unfortunately he's no longer with us, but we learn so much thanks to people like that. And that's one of the reasons why we stay because you will never find, until today, I've never found anyone like him. Jeff is the man. Yeah. Like, he, Jeff, Jeff just was... You don't he was the man. use Yellow Pages or Google, <laughs> hey, who is a good man? Like, it, it doesn't exist. It's We just got lucky. The opportunity came in, and you should never just be like, no, 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 I'm better than this. No, you're not. If mm -hmm. it came in, it, there's there's a lesson in it for you. Absolutely. Right. Just don't... It, you know, I, I, I try to I try to carry that same cadence he had. Like everyone that came across Jeff remembers Jeff. Like, right. I'm I guarantee it. Like everyone probably in the world that's ever even like brushed with him, like like they remember Jeff, you know? Like he he's that he's that funny guy, crack a wise joke, whatever the case is, like mm -hmm. he's gonna leave an everlasting effect on you. Yeah. And and that's important. Yeah, and I, I try to do the same for, for whoever it is, whether it be professional, personal, whatever the case is. Like couple years ago i was more shy timid whatever the case is yes. now i'll just talk to a stranger randomly because they're oh next God. to me yeah. <laughs> you know and and um and that's definitely and it's so natural i'm like yeah. oh my god that Literally. has jeff written all over it you yes. know like that's that, that's habits i just picked up from just being around him so much like i just kind of copied it I, in, in a way um i guess it came natural to me you could say but it's, it's it feels like i'm just like yo that 
that's because of Jeff. Like, there's no way in the world. Like, I would have never did this. Like, I would have never did X, Y, Z, or X, Y, Z. Or maybe even react. Like, a lot of times I would react to certain things. And, you know, my nature's more laid back, calm, whatever the case oh, is. Oh, I was going to say, maybe you do have it in you. Because the way yeah. I know you is different. Yeah, like, definitely. Like, I'm more reserved in whatever the case is. Obviously, I have that upbeat, like, right. crazy kind of side or whatever the case is. Um... But when things get rough and certain situations happen, like those moments, you, you know, him. I can absolutely credit him right. for helping me mentally prepare for those things. So when things happen, I'm never really rattled or, or whatever the case is. I'm just thinking, okay, it happened. How do I, you know, adjust to that and, and come out of it stronger, learn from it, and never make that mistake again, X, Y, Z. And that's real life, actually. Mm -hmm. Nobody in school, I have a bachelor's who gives a damn, honestly. Like, nobody ever sat down with me, not once, not teacher, nobody, unless it was a friend, and actually explained to me, in these type of situations, this is what you do. Mm -hmm. So when you're in sales, like, I want my kids to be in sales. I want them to work hard and just be like, everyone no, 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 should, this is not a privileged life. Everyone should get into Go sales with everybody. At, at some point. Like, everybody. Every single person. Yeah. If you really want to do something, like, you're going to have to go through sales at some point. Sales and marketing at some point. Because you, you know? use it for the rest of your life. It's at some point. Like, you, <laughs> that, that's what it, no business flourishes with, with, without sales. You like, we, I mean, I use it in relationships, honestly. Yeah. And it was used on me. Like, I'm like, no, you did not just use this tactic on me. But I was in the <laughs> same comp, like, aired me out. Seriously? Yeah. I understand. No, but listen, <laughs> we're very grateful um, to be part of this journey because I know Chris Butte, thank you for you know yeah, starting this company because it was the man too. it was thanks to you honestly and then thanks to Jeff Pratt and then us little children we came <laughs> along and you said okay no problem we'll adopt you for like you know for some time couple years you know. couple of years <laughs> I know and like right. I'm very very grateful to Susanna Lojurai I loved you like three times and she was like Susanna Sidebar, like, she's doing awesome, by the way. Like, she's, like, the epitome of, like, badass business. Oh, really? Woman. Hell yeah. I mean, she was a badass in the office. Hands down. Like, like it's like, I, I even watched her grow to, to the point of where she is now, too. It's like, damn, like, this isn't even the same Susanna I know. And I, I'm sure that's how people feel about me, too. Like, mm -hmm. I get it. So, seeing it from a different perspective is like, okay, I get what people are probably thinking of me. Like, wow, this is not the same 19-year-old that walked through the door, like has also to Susanna, like she definitely is that badass example, not just for women, mm -hmm. you know, like she has so her. I mean, yeah, she had her fair share, but like she was a badass in the office. Like <laughs> she didn't need the bosses or anybody else. She's just like, you, you, you go over there, go do it. Why are you standing here? Like, right. and I'm grateful accent. because she interviewed <laughs> me and the first question I asked her was like, um, do you think I could do it? She goes, yeah, I was nervous the first time too. And I'm honored and blessed. Thank you, honey. I'm definitely going to send you uh, a hello after this video. Um, do we have to say Yash? One of the brothers in the office, right? Yash was m my immediate mentor. <sighs> you got lucky. <laughs> when <laughs> I went with him on the field, he taught mentor. me exactly what needed to be taught. In one, in one shot, I'm like, wow. And then I understood him perfectly. It was just mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah, Yash is badass. Like, he, he's... He's definitely, um, he, yeah, it's funny. One time I was like, yo, bro, like, I don't know if I could do this. He's I'm like, stop, stop being a punk. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe I am being a punk. I don't know. But like that, the, he had that way of, you know, setting you straight without being like. Oh, he gave you, it didn't matter. You're dying? Um, no, we have a meeting in five minutes. Let's go. Yeah, Let's like, do this. Legit. He that's that's Josh. Um, but yeah. he, there's one thing I definitely can say is like, you know, he obviously, he's genuine as well he really did care about people like that is yeah. something that is like you can't fake that and if you do fake it you can't fake it and until i catch on right like till his day like he definitely cares about people extremely humble person i want everyone to do well and i'm glad i definitely had him as my immediate mentor he's like the big brother in the office that's what i always used to call him yeah and anyone else i don't know if i i definitely would be here you know like you know that's 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 how i feel about it no, definitely. Like I said, it was the first time I ever like came to the office, and it was Yash and Susanna. Mm -hmm. So thank you guys. <laughs> um, I guess we're gonna end the note on thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Honestly, for having me. 
I had to literally start a YouTube channel to see all of my fans, <laughs> my friends, man. Come on. <laughs> literally. Hey, well. Otherwise, hey, how are you? Oh, yeah, I'm in Mexico. We're like, I'm here. Like, everybody's busy, but I get it. There was a couple of times that I was like, sorry, I'm still taking care of my life. Not right. yet, not yet. But now here I am. And my goal is to have everybody over in different space, obviously. And I'm working on that as well. Yeah. And I already spoke to even Crystal Colado, I think that's her name. We're so hot, I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, she's not she, um, Yeah, let me not start. But um, all this, <laughs> we definitely had an amazing group of people there. And mm -hmm. for the rest of our lives, nobody can take that away. And we overcame our personal obstacles to still come back and still be there for one another. And we learned and understood and felt what it's like to feel like a family. Like we didn't care where you come from. Nobody cared if you just had a baby two seconds ago. You're going to go now, I'm joking. <laughs> that crazy. But that was true because right. I to feel like extent, that's, yeah, to yeah. an extent, that's how it yeah, was. And common, yeah. Everybody would come and visit you and still come back and we all would make a sale. Like it was, it was an incredible energy and that's not something you could get in any kind of job. Yeah. So thank you to everybody who has helped us because um, we're not going to forget that. We're still using it and utilizing it today. Um, Marquise, thank you so much for coming. I know you have a flight in like an hour or so. <laughs> so thank you for coming. Finally. <laughs> this this is the much the most fun I will get in the next uh five hours, so <laughs> I'll be it's sure to send it to you hopefully. It's a pleasure to, to be here. <laughs> thank and you. Honor to be chosen to actually be able to Are you kidding me? You're like the perfect there. candidate. I'm hoping that all the youngsters over there actually learn something that you should never give up, keep going. You know, he's and I'll put his information in the description box. So if you guys want to ask a question, maybe, you know, you want to start your own little venture. He's there, right? Yeah. I mean, it's a lot of other things, too. And I just actually this this business actually helped me do other things as well. Of course. Um, not even going like, to get really into that stuff now, but not yet. Yeah, let's wait. Definitely. A year, right? Um, yeah. yeah. Right. right. So, so I get, like, surprise. I also did this. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. Well, yeah, well. A year from now. That's really but it. Thanks. <laughs>